it's Reno and welcome to episode 24 in Exile. Yep, that's where we're at right now in Exile. We're in the desert still and we're gonna be there for the foreseeable future. To bring you up to speed we have just, well, if you missed our extravagant little uh, adventure to where we apparently currently are, we you can review, review um, previous episodes. Suffice to say, we're in the desert, and we're dealing with slave rebellions because uh, we're kind of jerks. We, <laughs> we supplanted uh, the local tribe, and uh, they're, they're not too happy about it, so uh, it stands to reason we'd be facing these types of issues. We've also recently subjugated uh, the Nezimones because they're a bunch of jerks, but now they're our friends. So... Now we have to move on, and Hi, as we are moving on, yes. we are going to continue our strategy that we laid out kind of uh, broadly in striking at Serene, which is our old foe Egypt, which <laughs> kind of instigated this whole journey by... Uh, well, they weren't really the uh, only reason why we had to leave Illyria, but uh, they were a big reason. So we're going to hopefully get revenge and establish our power base, and maybe, just maybe one day, we'll get out of the desert and out of exile and get revenge on, well, everyone. <laughs> but we'll start small and start with Egypt. So let's get this Warriors show on the road. Alright, Gentius, our new king. Oh yeah, um... The bastard king died last... last time. I'm sad by that. Real sad. But, uh, at least... <laughs> at least we still have Gentius. His brother, his younger brother. Who, in the grand tradition of King Gentius, will promote himself. Okay, we've got to... this, um... situation. This is where... Master King died, if you missed that. We've got to deal with this, but we'll deal with that by uh, sending more dudes no to deal with this. We're going to just have the last administrators clean up, although the there's a further chance of rebellion, which will be interesting having rebels and slaves right next to each other, so we'll see how that works out. So, we'll move on into the winter. Not that she would know. <gasps> We have enough Perium for an edict now. This is amazing. It's like we're almost home. Okay, what edict do we need? Uh, growth. What? And eh, no, we don't really need growth. Although unit recruitment cross is useful. So no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what was the other one? Oh. 23% tax rate. Uh, well, we need public order. We'll deal with that later. So, now we're going to get into the winter. Not that you would know, because we're still in the desert. There is still the concern of, um, the Celt Iberian Confederation over to the left here. Well, left, west. And they're getting quite big and they're not f in a loving relationship with Carthage which is one of our only friends in this world. I guess it's Egypt, uh, Libya up here is uh, they're okay with this although we did kind of kill their tribal bros and they weren't too happy about that and, s and subjugated the others so uh, I don't think they'll turn against us but stranger things have happened. Yep, rebellion. How many times has this can one man be wounded in assassination attempts? Apparently a many, because that Gentius has been the target for assassination I don't know how many times. Okay, so Gentius will not be leading the army for a while. So <laughs> and we're all out of family mem family members. There's the opposition leader. Rather not give you more glory. Mm. Um, 
That actually might be useful since we'll be pushing it on Egyptian territory. Uh, we need more cavalry still, so he'll, even though he's not royal blood, he will be riding in the royal cavalry. My God, <laughs> that is a hideous, unholy alliance made in barbarian hell. Two superpowers have been allied with each other. At least that's not a concern of ours right now, but vengeance is in our vision. We will have our vengeance one day. All right, this newly acquired broad will go. Swifter than the wind. See what's on the side. Of there shouldn't be anything. I shall oh. rest a while. Or there is. Man. Oh man. <laughs> that may have been easier said than done. Let's give our guy a war target. You go to Amanium. Maybe you can spread them out and cut through the southern part of the Nile. Or middle part of the Nile. Or I guess this would be the lower Nile. Yeah. Since we're at the equator, thereabouts. Okay, what's the We're not gonna be able to stop the rebellion even with the Britain games. Ready for orders At least not in a traditional sense. Also it'd take us two turns to get there, which means we'd lose stuff. Well met. What do you wish of me? Oh, I remember what I was gonna do. You there. She still can't make it. Hmm. Well, I was gonna send her back here to, you know, rally everybody's spirits, but that seemed to be not gonna happen because she's too fat and slow. Because <laughs> why can't she move so? Why does she already lose half her movement points? Did I miss something? Hmm. It's a mystery. Well, regardless. Better get a shift on. Need to send her that way. Okay, time to avoid walking in the get desert because you put way. one toe in the sand, you die. <laughs> on the move, lads. Stay on the road where everything's nice and get moving. Less terrible. Getting on our way. We gotta see what's here. Taking. Cyrene by assault with a garrison is uh, not going to happen. So maybe we can coax him out into a field battle. We'll go out and raid around here if need be. I am the knife. So, in, the in fact, we're gonna send him up here too for a little bit of poison. The way is shut. Okay, these slaves have to be taught a lesson, but eventually they'll go away. I guess it's good. You know what? It's gonna rebel anyway. Whether we sit here or we we go out, so we're gonna go out. On the move, lads! Move out! Now recruit some more dudes. Just one. <laughs> Let's see what the diplomatic position is. Situation is. Well, oh no. <laughs> now they lose that. Where were you earlier? Man. All we need is for them to make an alliance with the Vernii, and then the world will surely belong to the <laughs> barbarians. So, Carthage is gone. Carthage is in dire straits. This is open up an opportunity. As much as I hate you, Egypt, I wonder. Say your peace like a civilized man, Outlander. Servants of Pharaoh, Lord of all, have no time for babble. I hate don't bring battle. Babble. <laughs> babble, I bring peace. 
That you don't want. But I'm gonna ask anyway. Pharaoh, the sword of Egypt, will not be satisfied until he based in your blood and violated your women folk. I don't think he wants to accept it. Well, now that we know where we stand. Hey, buddy. In my lord's name, be welcome. And may the blessings of the gods bring you the prophet of the day. You're my new best and only friend. And I only had to beat you down to make you that way. We had heard of your great wisdom, and with this generous offer, we have seen its results. Let's see what the Libya is about to get gobbled up by the Celt Iberians. Confederates. Ah, they don't hate me now. Oh, they don't like the Avernii. They oh, they're at war with the Avernii. On one hand, I'm uh, I'm happy with that. On the other, I'm not. Because as much as I hate the Avernii and they drove me to the situation we're currently in. If they gobble up all of them and we end up in a war with them, it'll be that much more horrible. But... Uh, we have... Yeah, let's try to Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be well. A sure thrust strikes home, after all. Hmm... Yeah, we'll see. Doesn't seem likely. A man is judged by his friends. This is not the time for such an agreement. No, it's not. But as long as you don't attack me, um, I won't attack you. How's that sound? We'll just have a non-official non-aggression pack. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Carthage will still think highly of us, at least. Yes, that's what we think is going to happen. <laughs> we'll see. We can only really deal with one enemy at a time now. At best. We're just gonna focus on Egypt for now. At least until something else comes along. And it always does. I don't know if they're actually going to go for a him. I hope they will, because I really don't want it. I want to get out of the desert. It sucks here. Okay. Thirsty for battle. We're Bell next turn, but we can deal with the. It'll take the Ready rebels a while to get organized, so we can deal with that. Getting on our way. I think we should be able to resolve this. Let's find out. Yes. Watch it turn into another slave revolt. Elephants? <laughs> well, whatever. He's, we still... We gotta resolve gods are with us. Kill them. The strong will always beat the weak. It is the way of the world, and the will of the gods. I have a bit of a premonition that that's not the last time we'll see that movie, or the one before it. Let's just hope that the stupid... Rebellion doesn't produce yet another slave army of amazing. Warriors it probably on. will. <laughs> Just can't catch a break. At In the interim, let's see what's going on here. Oh, God. This is Ballista City. So they <laughs> Six Ballista. I mean, the rest of their army kind of sucks. Egyptian infantry is so much crap, but... Hmm. 
may have to rethink For this. No, we can't rethink it. Can we have to be stalwart. Because really, we don't have any way to, which way to go. I want to stay out of the desert because we will take unnecessary casualties. Despite my micromanagement, we'll eventually get in the desert, and that'll just delay things. And I don't want this. Best case scenario, let's go ahead and you know put that out here, is that we go up here. Somehow we take Cyrene. Uh, my buds, my new buds, by you know beating them down will come and attack here and and will a parallel start taking over Egypt because they deserve it. He takes the southern part, I take the northern part, we get back near the water, and then we strike back at our foes <laughs> from the sea. That's the plan, as it stands now. That's not taking into account all of this. Oh, Thaps is rebelled. Interesting. Very interesting. Too bad I don't have a force over there that can take advantage of that. Nor money to raise another one, unless... Warriors hmm. These guys need to get replenished before they go on any adventure. It would take them probably three or four turns to get back there. By the time I get there, Celt Iberians or Libya will probably take it back. So we're going to stick to this plan. Try to coax them out into a field battle. Let's see how that develops. Oh, I forgot to... Oh well. Or, better case scenario, they can just leave. We can just, w although it was the like as well to get the Wild Siren, but. We're not gonna hold Siren. We're just gonna liberate them so we'll have a military alliance, a strong one, that'll help carry the, uh. carry the way into Egypt, because they really don't like Egypt. So we have something in common right off the bat. I hope that's an actual. It is a re rebellion, not a slave rebellion. A revolt. Hooray! Although it's at Garmin now? Oh, look who's back! He wants the city back. That's cute. Yes, Rhodes. We haven't forgot your part in all of this. Well, guys, it's time to walk back through the desert again. Very carefully. Oh dear. How far can, can you make it back to the city? Okay, good. And the garrison is not very strong. They might actually attack. Uh oh. <laughs> I hope they don't get ambushed right in front of the city. That would be tragic. Also, we're losing money now. He turns until this auto repairs. <laughs> we need money. We need. Yes. I just start hoorahing. Warriors all. I have a navy here. A very. Unimpressive navy, but the army is gone. What would you have of me? Try to keep that up. As a shadow. Keep an eye on them. This navy is still gonna. Well, it's better than our navy because we don't have one. Hey guys, good job. Take it. Take it. Thirsty for battle. Let's get our guys on the move. Micromanagement. Getting all the way. Attrition. Get moving. Actually, on the move, lads. Uh, I was seeing if I could replenish in their territory, but since we're not Pull allies, out. no, we can't. Can he get back here in time? <laughs> Maybe. 
Oh. They can recruit... They can recruit scythe chariots? That's scary. Warriors all. Can't raid, so we'll just... On the move, lads. We'll hang here. Maybe we can take it. Now, I don't think God of Resolve is going to think too highly of us taking Cyrene with the navy in, in port. We may have to actually take this by storm, and that'll be interesting with all these ballista. Just You're looking at put me? it under siege. Actually, we have money. Sabotage. But not enough money. Yeah. Just hang there. Boy, I hope they don't come after them. I can't maybe believe they made it right outside the gate. <laughs> now since Cyrene has a port, we won't be able to starve them out without a navy. Well, any meaningful amount of time. So it's either assault it or bust, really. Target invalidated because it was a success. Good job, guys. You're probably gonna get tore up from the floor up, though. Yeah, Sparta, you go to war. We won't forget what happened. All right, guys. This mission is accomplished. New mission. Take Memphis. Can I assist you? Earth okay, they level. haven't reinforced it with the land army, but even though those what does they got for years and pikemen, cavalry, pikemen, Warriors all. units are kind of crap, but there is a lot of them, and those ballista are going to be a problem. Thirsty for battle, but we really don't have a choice. <laughs> Oh! See what the odds of this are. Prediction actually low because we don't have Gentius in there. Uh, and we're only no joke. Continue the siege. What? How long until Gentius will be back? One turn. We'll keep under the siege one turn. Hell, who knows? Maybe they'll, uh. What you have of me? Uh. Force field battle, which would be in our advantage. Yes. Okay, good. They didn't ambush these guys. But now let's kill these annoying rebels. I want our <laughs> no, we don't enslave rebels or rebel slaves or. Kinda enslaving has led us to this terrible juncture. <laughs> okay, the last administrators have proven their worth. Pull this defenders. Yeah. I think that's the Yeah, keep it as a piece. Definitely. And that and Hydroculturalist. Yeah. It's likely. We'll go with Treesman. Also, who is this? Yeah. All right, we're pulling in income. Finally. You know, we, because our city repaired itself miraculously. How can I be of assistance? Let's see what's going on in Alexandria here. They sure have a lot of armies here. But who are they at war with? Other than me. Just 
strangely, no one of any substance. I wonder what happened to the Salukids. Maybe they're dead. Like, just... They may be. That would explain their uh, ability to go on adventures in Thrace. This navy's concerning, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. Now people are, well, let's not go ahead and get ahead of ourselves. We have to capture Sunry before we talk about what we're going to do with it. <laughs> so we'll wait and see what happens with that next turn. We're gonna, either way, we're gonna have to deal with the Egyptian Navy uh, one way sooner or later. They got a pretty sizable Navy. Clearly they have to, to be uh, making expeditions to Thrace and Lyria. Alright, Gentius is back, just in time. And the Siege Tower is done, although... <laughs> I actually think I didn't remember to build siege equipment. Place this man with the real man. Attack! Faction destroyed. The Nervii. Shoot. Actually, don't see very often. Hey! Bros! The best of bros. Uh, I wonder if they. You know, it's worth it. It's yeah, he ain't gonna surrender anytime soon. We can... Let's see. Let's get some siege towers now that we can actually build them. Ladders... Uh, battering ramps. Let's do that. So if they move up, oh, and I... Kinda hope they do... Uh, well, no, I really... Wish they would still go after Memphis, but uh, that would work too. So we'll see how they. We won't change their orders any. Yay, moving range. Servants of the elite. No. Hmm. No. Yeah, I think we need to start working on war exercises. Oh yes, replenish raid, that is important. We finally are getting money now, so let us finally repair this. We need to convert these eventually too, but uh, not now. They're yeah, we're in the positive now. Yeah. Is our public order doing? Uh, still having problems with slaves. We you get around that 15% magic number, and that's when things start going south quick. But we'll just leave it alone with slaves for now. How's this whole situation going? Carthage. Well, maybe this is stabilized a bit. Maybe their war with the Avernii will keep them distracted. Libya... I'm not gonna piss up the, the Spanish any more than is necessary at this moment. So... We'll continue into the spring of, four, of 244 BC. Yeah, that's interesting. They moved the greater part of their fleet out of Cyrene. They saw the writing on the wall.
We'd like to think that's what happened. We'll see, though. Oh, I want to take this with as many casualties... Well, as many casualties as possible. With as little casualties as possible. Obviously, because we're not going to keep Sarene if we take it. Some people will say, why didn't you take Sirene for yourself? Simple answer, look at my campaign goals, which I got away from, admittedly, is that we're supposed to be taking, focusing on military allies and satrapies. We're doing that right now with them, so we're going to have the, uh, Sirene. We're going to have to, if we can make it this far, if we can push on these areas, we're going to have to take them ourselves because there's nothing you can liberate for them. So we'll just have, and it'll give us support for ourselves to strike against the people we hate. <laughs> you, you, and uh, eventually all of you. So, but with the advantage of having Cyrene as a military ally, we'll have people that will go out and create havoc, as these guys are doing now. So it gives us an opportunity to push with direct thrusts while the, all our allies and satrapies and stuff like that are creating general chaos. So, with that explained, let's take it. This is much better odds, I like it. Let's go balanced. Liberate them! Yes, and we didn't lose a unit. Oh, well, they didn't get beat up, but that's acceptable. Welcome back! And let's see... What do we need here? Ready for battle! Mmm, skirmishers... Actually, yeah, we're gonna go more heavy in with that because I love these Thurio spears of uh, as I have mentioned before. Unfortunately, we can't trade with them yet. <laughs> Emphasis on yet, because <laughs> I have designs on you, Libya, eventually. Ready for battle. But uh, spoiler. That's some good raiding you're doing there, guys. Please, please stop raiding our friends. Okay, we're gonna keep that target alliance. Our alliance target, rather. Now that we have money, what do we need? Actually, after the, um, Cluster that happened of uh, not having of not having our critical buildings inside the walls. I'm starting to think we should not have our uh, bronze workshop in Sidimus, but uh, mm, that would be a pain to, to break it down, wouldn't it? I guess we need to do it. If we're gonna do it, we need to do it now. So we'll go ahead. And, yeah, we'll do it now. And in the end term, we need tribute collection edict plus one order from taxes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It'll give us the best of both worlds. We're gonna go with that. Yeah, let's get him moving. We are coming for you, Egypt. We have... You didn't think you'd see us again, did you? Douchebags. And now we're coming for your capital. Doubt they're just gonna let us walk into it, but that's... predictable. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode on a bright note, since we have now liberated Cyrene. We have good pals in our satrapy client state vassals, whatever you want to say, the Nasimids, and they're pushing along nicely. So things are looking a little better now. Actually, it's looking a hell of a lot better than when we were, you know, making our way down here. Uh, it's still got a long way to go, but 
we at least now have a line to follow to get somewhere where we need to be. So with that said, we'll continue this on in the next episode entitled Revenge. Until next time.